The holiday season is coming up. Are you looking for some gifts for the young learners in your life? Today we are giving you some examples of our favorite educational gifts and activities for kids that are also fun. <laughs> Welcome to Kids Learning for Life, Holiday Edition. That's Jenny. That's Stacy. And, and we're two homeschooling moms. We're here to help families teach kids the joy of learning. Because learning doesn't happen just during school, it happens throughout life. Sure, you can settle on those cheap old plastic toys that they sell on Amazon or Target, but we think it's important to be intentional about the gifts you give. And while homeschooling, there's no shame in having school materials double as gifts. The educational toys that we're going to suggest for you are ones that our kids love, keep them entertained, and are educational. And we do want to mention that this list is mostly geared towards younger kids just because our kids are younger, but you could use a lot of these for older kids as well. Let's get started! The first gift idea we want to mention is BrainQuest. BrainQuest comes in these decks and they're each grade specific and they all go over each subject that is taught in school. So there's a question about language arts, science, even math. Uh, my kids love it. Do your kids love it? They <laughs> love them, Jenny. Okay, so if you haven't seen her curriculum video, that's where she mentions these and talks about them. And so that's where I learned about them. And so I got myself a pack for my kiddos and they love them. Yeah, it's really challenging in some ways. And then also some of it can kind of be review of things that they've already learned. I grew up doing brain quests, so that's why I'm so smart. Use your game show <laughs> voice, it'll really help. So they come all the way from pre-kindergarten to sixth or seventh grade and they're fun for all ages. Yes. Next, we want to talk about watercolors. These are my favorite. I am not super artsy. I don't like messy paint and these I can handle. Yeah, watercolors are super washable. They just use a little cup of water. That's probably the most drama you encounter <laughs> with watercolor is like knocking over the cup of water, but it's not a big deal. And they're easy to use. Um, there's like little techniques you can learn if your kids are a little older and want to actually learn art technique. But um, yeah, super washable, easy to use. Kids love them. Parents love them. I don't really know what else to say about these. They're watercolors. They're fun. One thing I do want to mention about watercolors is I highly recommend also purchasing watercolor paper. It's thicker so the water doesn't totally soak and saturate the page and um, the sheets tend to be a little bigger so kids really like it. Why have you not shared this with me before? <laughs> I learned it in that art class that my kids are in. That, so <laughs> That is our number one problem is that they, they water so much that it goes through the paper. So yeah, yeah. pro tip. Highly recommend. The next thing we want to mention is binoculars. Ooh, you guys look great in there. <laughs> um, this is great for encouraging nature study. You can bird watch with these. Yeah, my kids love them. We got them last Christmas for, and we just put them in their stockings. Shh, don't tell my kids, but I got my kids some for this Christmas, so. <laughs> yeah, and it's just fun to just say, here, take your binoculars outside and just give them something else to do outside and keep it everything interesting. Yeah, and make sure to get one pair per kid that you have because right now we only have one pair and it doesn't really work out very well. <laughs> um, I would also recommend maybe even purchasing some sort of nature journal if your children are older and can write on their own because kids will see all sorts of things through here and they wanna kinda like document what they learn about. So up next, we have card games. I love these. You can start these with, you know, toddlers, um, especially, what do I have in my hands? Uno. <laughs> Ula Uno is great for color and number recognition, so even the younger players can kind of start to figure it out. And what I love about card games, especially Uno, is even older kids and parents can enjoy playing it too. Oh, it's, it's not totally. like so remedial that it's boring for anyone older. Yeah, I mean, we, we sit down and at our coffee table before bed and have like Uno or Blink is another one. Um, basic. I've never played that one. Yeah, so it's, it's a super fast game. It says it's the fastest Fast, the world's, the world's fastest, fastest game, game ever. But it's kind of similar. I don't know if you've had like a deck of cards and played speed. Yeah. Where you have to either match the number or the color. So here they have different shapes. So you just have to match the color or the shape. Um, and then just kind of put cards down in that fashion. So it's a really quick game. If your kids are like, oh, can we just play one game before bed? Bring this out. You're good to go. <laughs> um, what do we have next? I think we have some board games. This is, so our families both figured out Catan this year. 
Um, and so the kids were always super jealous because we'd be um, getting together at Christmas and at Thanksgiving. And basically and neglecting them while we spent three <laughs> hours um, playing Catan together. Hey, they got to watch movies. That's not <laughs> That's neglecting. True. They loved it. But then um, now that our kids are getting a little bit older, they want to play too. So we found this. We have not, our kids have not played it together yet. Not together, but my mm -hmm. kids have played this. Have your kids played it? No. Oh yeah, my kids, well, one of my kids likes it. <laughs> she's also the oldest. Yeah, she's the oldest. I think they have to be probably in first grade or older. This really does boil down the essentials for Catan, but like you still have to understand strategy, I guess. So um, there's this board game. There are things like shoots and ladders for younger kids. Monopoly. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, there are so many different board games. Sequence Junior mm -hmm. is a good one. Um, Rummy Cube. I like yeah. Rummy Cubes. Um, what yeah. else? So there's a lot of games that, so what we're, I guess, trying to encourage here is things that you can play with your children. I like something that requires my children have a little bit of skill, not just luck of the draw. Next up are books. <gasps> this is a book set that I actually got from a used book sale at the library, but this is like in perfect condition and this is like a really great gift set for the young reader in your life. This is the Chronicles of Narnia, by the way. I actually have just created an entire blog post of recommended books that I recommend. Um, they're all great, um, so you can check that out on our blog. You can use books to encourage independent reading or even read together as a family. Some other series that I would like to recommend are the Little House series, so our kids both like that, mm -hmm. um, the Paddington series, and also the Magic Treehouse series, which these are all probably come in beautiful box sets like this or just individually. The next item that we want to share, which you probably already know about, Legos. Okay, these provide, I mean, look at this. My, my, I just grabbed these out of our Lego box, like my children. No, Stacy was playing with them, <laughs> don't lie. A lot of people ask how you store your Legos or how I store my Legos, and I just have one of those big bins and all of the Legos go in there. They do come in a lot of different sets where they can build specific things. I do not keep the little instruction <laughs> booklets. Pro tip, you can find them online if you really want them. Some people have like file folder systems and that's oh just too much for me. There are some kids that really want to rebuild and they keep them all organized by color and everything. Mine just go in a bin yeah. and then they pull them out and they make these things. Fun and simple. Yeah, they just like the little characters that come in them and then everything else they can kind of recreate. Um, And so next, these could make great stock stocking stuffers because they do have um, smaller little sets as well that you could fit. Yeah, just like, like tiny, I mean mm -hmm. like tubes kind of. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But other stocking stuffers, if you haven't figured this out, tape. Oh my gosh, what a parenting hack tape is. Like, our kids are obsessed with tape, and we didn't know this, but it was simultaneously happening. We, I think one of us was like, wow, my kids really love tape right now. And I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> why? But it's like a thing that happens. Yeah, it's something that they don't, I don't give them tape because you know what's gonna happen to it, right? They're gonna be gone in like 30 seconds. So I specifically last Christmas bought them a ton of masking tape, colored masking tape mm -hmm. and regular tape for them to use. And I don't have to worry, like it's their tape. I don't have to worry about like not having my own tape. And it doesn't make a huge mess. That's what yeah. I like about it. Yeah. yeah. Um, we also have other art supplies like glitter glue. Um, my kids even get excited about just sets of crayons and colored pencils. Mm -hmm. So any sorts of art supplies, you can just stock, stock, stock your stuffing. What? <laughs> <laughs> Stuff your stocking. And um, it's all just fun to them. I mean, yeah. Especially pencils, erasers, all oh, yeah. those sorts of little knick-knacky school supplies are perfect for those stockings. Also something I invested in this year are stickers. Um, great for homeschool and my kids just love to decorate with them. So, mm -hmm. and also like stamp ink stamp sets as yes. well. Just anything like that that's just like little and kind of just fun and cutesy. Kids love it, yep. Educational gifts don't have to be boring or super expensive. We hope that this list gave you some good ideas for the kids in your life. Do you have any creative gift ideas? Let us know in the comments below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to get more videos just like this. We are wishing you and your family a wonderful holiday season. See you next time.